Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your Android device look like an iOS device. So as you can see on my note 4, I'm running iOS 8 here. Um, so you get your folders and you get your notification bar just like that. And you also get the search feature and the keyboard. So I'm going to be showing you how you can get all this. Um, first step is you're going to want to go into settings and you're going to want to type up here unknown sources and tick that box there. Um, that's so you can download the stuff from the internet. Now you want to go into into your browser and download Aptoid. That's the first step. And um, you're going to need this to download some of the apps if you want them free, or else you're going to have to pay for them. So um, there we go. We can get free apps from there. So the first one you're going to want to get is iLauncher, and this is the actual launcher that I'm rocking right now. Um, so just go into Aptoid and search iLauncher. So it's come up for me, and you're going to want to get this one here at the top, the blue one. Um, this is the latest version, so you're going to want to just download that. And also download iNoti as well. That's your notification banner like this, the iOS one, um, which is really cool. It matches the actual app color, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, you just need to download them two apps. And then you will need to tweak the home screen a little bit. I will have an icon pack in the description as well as the keyboard um, in the description, the APKs. So all you need to do is on your phone, Go in, the, go in my description and just click on the APK and it should just download straight away. If it doesn't, it'll open a page with a download button and you're just going to want to click that. So when they've downloaded, um, it should come up somewhere. Um, mine's here. It is a, it's called a Google keyboard, um, but it doesn't look like the Google keyboard. It's the actual iOS keyboard. Um, so yeah, don't get misled by that. It's not the Google keyboard you can get in the Play Store. That one is a different one. Um, the link in the description. That is this one here. So it looks like the iOS one. And you get, I think, the recommended words. But I've got it switched off right now. Um, but yeah, that's all you need to do to get that. And then I'm going to show you how you can change your icons once you've downloaded the, the icon pack. Okay, so when you've downloaded the icons, they'll all go in your gallery. And you're going to want to just hold down so they wiggle and tap on it and then you're going to want to hit change icon or change title if you want to change the name so if you want you want to go change icon and then you want to find where they are so I'll go into my explorer here and you I'm going to try find it so I think it's in downloads and and here I think um <clears throat> not this one where is it it should be somewhere here I've got a few icons just around um but there should be a pack somewhere um, struggling to find it right now. It might actually be, yeah, it's this one, I think. So if we go in here, yeah, there's all my icons. So you can actually select one and it will replace the one on your home screen um, with one of these icons. So just select the right ones and it will replace all of these. That's what I've done. And then just organize them how you want them so that it looks like the iOS. Um, I will also leave a link in the description to download the wallpapers for iOS as well. Um, so there we go, guys. It's fairly short. All you really need to do is download Aptoid, download iLauncher, iNoti, and then get the Google keyboard that looks like the iPhone one, and get your icon packs. Um, so there are the things you need to download. I will have them listed in order for you guys, and also a step-by-step -step instructions in the description in case you get a little bit lost. Um, but once it's installed, it looks pretty cool, and it really is like iOS. Um, it, they even wiggle, and you can actually delete them from your home screen, the apps. Um, and you get the same kind of thing where you can't move the apps down here. They go up to the top again, so they have to go from left to right, and they stay at the top, which kind of sucks. Um, yeah, but that is iOS for you. Um, it's pretty pretty much exactly like iOS. Um, so yeah, the only thing you don't get is the multitasking kind of window thing. Um, you still get this Android one. Um, so yeah, but um, you do get the notif notification bar up here. Um, which is kind of cool. This really does look similar. Uh, for some reason, mine has an ad on it right now. Um, but if you get the one from Aptoid, the paid version, um, then it won't have the ad on. Uh, so yeah, there we go, guys. It's fairly fairly short, but fairly easy to do. You just need to download stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope your iOS device has, well, your Android device has iOS on it. Um, or if you don't want it on, you just watch this video for a random reason, then there we go. That's how it's done. But um, if you have any problems, don't forget to hook me up and comment down in the description or send me a private message. And I will try to help you guys out to make sure that you can get your phone looking like this. Um, so yeah, but that's it guys. Thank you for watching. 
and don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe.